Well, first of all, it is very risky. I had reviewers and bloggers ask me this question, and I had never heard this before, I never heard the expression, is it clean fiction? And I was like, what is clean fiction? Well, no violence, no cursing, and no sex. I'm going, well, there's no cursing and there's no sex, but there is some violence. And if you've read the book, you know there's a very violent scene at the beginning of the book. The crucifixion occurs in the book, and it, let's face it, the crucifixion is not non-violent. And so um, I had to say, well, yeah, there's violence. And I did have some readers say to me, wow, there's some violence in this book. But it was a violent time. And this is an era where life was purely at a subsistence level. A lot of the very poor people in this period did not know whether they were going to have food tomorrow. You know, they planned their meal today and maybe the next day, and then they were going to have to figure out how they were going to feed their children the day after that. And so that creates a certain level of violence because there's a struggle for survival. But you also had Rome that was an occupying force. And let's face it, Rome was not exactly known for their humanity. You know, Rome was brutal. It was a, a brutal occupying force. They thought nothing of torturing people uh, as a form of execution. Crucifixion was really more torture leading to death. Um, they would take people as slaves and put them in mines and work them like machines until they died underground and then just sort of dump the bodies in a hole. They would uh, tie, chain people to their oars to you know, run their ships. And if you died, well, they threw you overboard. So there wasn't a lot of humanity there. So the violence reflects the culture of the times. It's contextual in that way. Uh, I don't believe in violence for violence sake or for shock sake. And I think that if you are writing a book in this era, or, you know, about this type of pe uh, period, I guess, I, you have to be very conscious that you're not using violence for the shock value. So violence must serve a function within the story. It's not just saying, oh, it's a violent world, so I'm going to throw in this horrible violent act and everybody's going to go, ah, you know, and their heart's going to pound and they're going to freak out, right? Uh, what you really want to do is have that violence perform some sort of function in the story. So it should advance the plot or it should enhance the character in some way. So when, in the very opening scenes of the book, when Demetrius is being brutally beaten by his owner, Marcus, his Roman owner, Marcus, we get several things out of this violent scene. We discover, first of all, that Marcus is a broken man. He's a warrior who has, he's a retired uh, general, and he has no life now. He doesn't know what to do with himself because all he's ever done is battles. And so he takes it out, this emptiness, on his slave. And that the same thing, what we do, we discover, is that this is about to set the story in motion. Demetrius' response to Marcus' brutal uh, uh, cruelty sets the whole book off in motion. It sets the plot into existence. So those two things happen at the same time with that very first violent scene. And just to caution readers, the book is not violent all the way through. There's just a few moments like that where it is, it is definitely violent. So I would tell people who are putting violence in their books, be aware that there is a readership out there for religious fiction that does not like any violence. And you need to know that and go into it with a certain amount of caution and awareness. I didn't know it until after the fact. Um, make your violence contextual. Make sure that it fits the story, that it's necessary for the story, and that it suits the time that you're writing about. Uh, and then finally, I would say, if, you, if it's necessary, use it. Don't be afraid. But also be aware that you know, there are some genres where you just can't do it you know, in religious fiction. It just is not acceptable.